How's it going, you team? My name's Gary, and welcome to the the second <clears throat> the second South American country that we are doing. I think second. It's Chile. So let's start with a flag. Flag of Chile has white color on the top, on the top corner, uh, red, which is dominating the lower part, and blue taking a small part in the corner. Blue part has a five point in star. And let, let's see what uh, colors resemble. White color resembles snow from Andes Mountains. Red resembles four blood shed for the, for the, for the country who saved the country. Blue resembles water and s water that Pacific Ocean on Pacific Coast and Pacific Ocean and star resembles going progress towards honor. So let's talk about political geography and where it's located. Chile is a South American country occurring a long narrow strip of land between the Andes to the east and Pacific Ocean to the west. It borders Peru to the north, Bolivia to the northeast, Argentina to the east, and Drake Passage in the far, far south. And the capital city of um, Chile is Santiago, which is the largest city. And let's move to physical geography and the economy, which we have to talk about a bit longer. The Central Bank of Chile in Santiago serves as the central bank for the country. The ch Chilean cur currency is the Chilean peso. Chile is one of the South America's most stable and prosperous nations, leading Latin American nations in human development, competitiveness, income per capita, globalization, economic freedom, and low perceptions of cor corporatization. About agriculture, agriculture in Chile encompass, encompasses a wider range of different activities um, due to its particle geography. Many of Chile's vineyards are found on land, land within the foothills of the Andes Mountains. So, about tourism, tourism is Chile has experienced sustained growth over the last few decades. In 2005, tourism grew by 13.6%, generating more than $4.5 billion, which $1.5 billion was attributed to foreign tourists. So, let's talk about demographics and people in, in Chile. Total population of Chile is about 80 million people, which 40% of population live in the capital, Santiago. Um, white people make 50% of population, mestizos 40% of population, and, Amerind and other 10% are Amerindians. So Spanish is the official language in Chile, but instead of hearing fiesta, you sh you, uh, which is party, party or party in American, <laughs> um, you can um, see what something with story with W. I can I c couldn't remember. So um, it's a lot different than the other Spanish uh, language. So now let's move to a friend zone and the friends. Then Chile gets along with good. So about friends, Chile has a lot of friends like Peru and Bolivia, which were friends for a long time with uh, Chile, but they got bored and gone, actually. Bolivia said to Peru that they should go. And Chile's worst enemy is Argentina, but still, they have economic ties. When it comes to soccer games like Chile-Argentina, it gets a long rough. <laughs> Chile going out of Latin America and Chile will say USA, Australia, New Zealand, and UK. For Spanish and Latin friends, um, they will actually say Colombia and Mexico, which are both getting along with really, really good, and um, uh, UK and the others are the best friends. But Colombia and Mexico are the most uh, friends that uh, they that Colombia that Chile has. So let's finish the episode. So what about we learned 
about today uh, for Chile. Chile is a South American country, the most one of the most South American uh, countries, most how can I say most um, stable and prosperous prosperous nation, and um, uh, the total population is eighty million people. Amorandias make ten percent, Mestizos are forty, and blah blah blah. They don't get along with Argentina, but still have economic ties. And um, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. The next, uh, so stay tuned, stay tuned, and watch the next episode where we're gonna do the one of the good countries. Or let us see, we're gonna do Congo Democratic Republic.